this was something that I only heard of recently, right? I was like looking through our new release catalogs and was like, dang, we got a lot of web orders for this new 4K. And it's called Alligator. And I was like, oh, no, what that's about. Um, surprise, surprise, it's about a giant alligator. Uh, tearing, you know, tearing a muck around the sewers of the city. It lives 50 feet beneath the streets. It's 36 feet long. It weighs over 2,000 pounds. And it's about to break out. I was obviously not alive in 1980, but maybe this is like the the genesis of the trope of alligators and sewers and stuff. And also it had its own- It was a reaction to that, Mick. It was a reaction. Okay, okay. I remember so this, that. Yes. So the stories of people flushing their baby alligators down the flu, <laughs> you know, it was like the rat in the in the fried chicken. I mean, it was just one of those stories that we were telling each other too much. But I remember this Love movie it. quite well. So anyway, <laughs> thank you, Scream Factory, for bringing this back into the cultural consciousness. Exactly what the 4K format was made for. All hmm. right, let's move on to another new release. This is from Beth Hart. It's called Tribute to Led Zeppelin. What's this all about, Chris? Well, it's a tribute to Led Zeppelin. <laughs> okay, Beth thank Hart. you for clarifying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's there you go. That's why that's why you have me on, I guess. She's like a blues rock singer. She's been around for a couple decades, and she's got this big, huge, powerful, like blue-eyed soul voice. Big presence on stage, and so she just is does a great job with this. Um, her, they play the songs pretty straight. They've added some keyboards to them, but it's basically, um, you know, if you're familiar with the band Le Les Zeppelin, who also does Led Zeppelin covers, she's the polished, uh, less punk rock version of that. It's good. All right, onto a musician who has performed in Maine several times. He's been interviewed by us here on 207. His name is Frank Turner. He's got a new album out called FTHC. What's the story here, Mick? And he made an appearance at Bull Moose Portland back in the day. So, yeah, good old Frank Turner, um, you know, English folk punk rocker. Um, this is a really cool collection of songs that were mostly written during uh, sort of like the height of the pandemic. I spoke with Scott last night. I was tired, but I wasn't sleeping. It's, it's good stuff. Also, yeah. it has a really, really heartwarming song dedicated to his... A uh, parent who came out as transgender, which is about their 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 relationship. It was not so good before, and now it's getting a lot better. So, thanks, Frank. He's a very engaging guy and uh, a has a really passionate following. His fans love him. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. All right, on to another new musical release, uh, Chris. This one's from the uh, Delvar Lamar. Excuse me, Delvon Lamar Organ Trio. I like the, the title, "Cold as Vice." Cold as Vice. Yes, the the new um, their new drummer. His last name is Weiss, so they uh, they added that. But it's this is one of those funky soul jazz organ trios, just organ, guitar, and drums. It's really good. They're definitely a little bit, a little grittier than some of the other bands like that. Good stuff. Close out with one more music release. This is from a band called Desert Sands. Feel warm <laughs> at night. The name of the album is New World Order. You're going to have to enlighten me, Mick. I hadn't heard of the band. I completely messed up. It's actually New World Disciples, not New World Order. I'm so okay. sorry, Rob. I tricked no worries. You. No um, worries. <laughs> but so so this is uh, actually it's kind of fun. We have Cold as Vice and Desert Sands Feel Warm. Uh, so it's a it's a slush wave album. And what is slush wave, you ask? Uh, it's kind of like an ambient sort of soundscape. So it, it this is what you're getting into, right? So figure on the desert, it's computer generated artwork. It's very relaxing. It's kind of like puts you in the mind of, um, you know, exploring an area that is is like a dream to you. It's familiar, but unknown and strange. I don't know. It's really cool. It's it's relaxing and good. So if you're not super familiar with Slushwave, maybe you've never even heard of it before, this is a great entry point. 